We're going to talk about challenge in this, in this lesson because challenge is what keeps you alive. Challenge is the lifeblood that forces your body to continue to get better. A lot of people think of life as a road. I'm either moving forward or I'm moving backwards, but I can also kind of just pause and I can just camp out. But the reality is life is a road. It's just on a hill. You're either moving forward or you're moving backwards. There is no park. You're not just chilling out and kind of waiting and then, you know, in idle mode. You're either moving forward and getting better by challenging yourself or you're not. And you're stepping back and you're getting worse. And that if you're not growing, you're dying. Now, understand the challenge is what keeps you young because it forces you to grow. Now, from a take-home perspective from this, there are three main areas that you always want to have some form of challenge and growth in your life every single month. Your mind, your body, and your spirit. Your mind, what are you learning? Who are you being taught? Who are you being mentored by? What are you, what skill are you developing? What are you being able to educate yourself on? Your body, what is your physical ability, your skill, your conditioning, your strength, your mobility, flexibility? What are you doing to challenge yourself and get better? This can be nutrition, your diet, eating. All of those things are incredibly important to make your body better. Then your spirit. What are your relationships, your connections, your ability to express emotion, your ability to be by yourself, to be mindful, to journal? Each of those is important. And if you're growing in those areas every month or every week, every day, those are what create fulfilling and passionate and meaningful days for you because you know that you're doing things that are meaningful for yourself. So always having challenge in those will keep you moving forward. But let's talk about why people don't challenge themselves. Well, there's three main reasons people don't challenge themselves. One, it's not easy. It's difficult and unfun to have to make hard choices. But let me reframe that for you. When you make hard choices in life, your life gets easier. But when you make easy choices in life, your life gets harder. The choice between sitting on the couch and watching social media and TV all day and eating junk food is much easier than the choice to get up and go work out and eat healthy foods and to read and to educate yourself. But the easy choice there leads to disease, being overweight, out of shape, you're not really learning and growing. But the hard choice challenges you to be better as an individual. So hard choices make easy lives and make an easy life and easy choices make a hard life. Next, people are afraid of failure. And they don't want things to go wrong. And what if this happens? And they'll, what they'll, they'll think of this of me, or they won't like me, or I'll get kicked out, or I'll lose my house, or I won't make the team. The problem is when you get paralyzed by failure, what you end up doing is you limit the risk. But when you limit the risk, you also limit the opportunity. And limited opportunity means you have limited places to grow. The thing you want to understand is that there is no such thing as failure. It's only feedback. You can do something. You can do fear setting and look at the worst case scenario. And if the worst case scenario came, as long as it doesn't kill you, you're going to be okay. You will continue to grow and get better. And if you use that as feedback, I'm sure you could probably look at something that didn't work the way you wanted it to, or things didn't turn out how you wanted them to, but you grew from that. You learned from that. You got better. And when we limit that risk, we limit the opportunity to grow from the opportunity, the reality of failure. So reframing that there's no such thing as failure can take the power of this fear of failure away. The third, and this may seem a little strange, is a fear of success. A lot of times people are afraid of succeeding because what would that mean? Can I still do that? Does that mean I'm a fraud? Will people find that out? Because there's a lack of belief in yourself and your ability and your authenticity of what you can do. So people will self-sabotage. They'll stop just short. They won't finish all the way in or they'll you know, show up late or whatever it is. They'll sabotage their own efforts in an effort to not succeed. So those three, and it's, it's silly, but people do it. Those three, the lack of desire and ability to make hard decisions, avoiding difficulty, fear of failure, and fear of success keep people stuck. But the problem is, like we said earlier, when you are stuck, you're not sitting still. You're going backwards, you're down, you're backsliding, and you're no longer living and growing. And one last thing we want to talk about with this is this idea that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you haven't heard that before, it's a famous saying that's been repeated over and over again before me. But this idea of you are so impacted and affected by your environment that the people you surround yourself with become the definition of challenge in which you are pushing yourself to achieve. If you have friends that are all, you know, kind of sitting around doing nothing, not really succeeding and pushing themselves, guess what? You're going to be just like them. You're never really going to be, you may be an outlier from your friends, but you may be a shadow of what you could be where you just surround yourself by better people and challenge that would push you and challenge you to be your best self. 
This is why people that have overweight friends or family or environment tend to be overweight. It's why people hang around drug users, people that smoke or cigarettes tend to also smoke or drink or whatever it is, right? You, it's not as much that that's what you want to do. It's just that you get dragged into this by this law of hip hypnotic rhythm. This kind of, I'm, I'm being influenced all the time. And we have these mirror neurons as humans in our brain that actually encourage us to we mimic the actions and the emotions of those around us. So we are incredibly influenced by the people around us. So if there is an area in your life you're not growing, you're not challenging yourself, look at the people around you. If they're not growing or challenging themselves in that area, that's the reason why. So there's two ways to fix this. One, you can either look and say, I gotta get better friends. I gotta get around better people. And you can stop hanging out with the people and choose a better social group or choose different activities. That is absolutely a must have if you have people that are pulling you down. The other side is that you can create your own network. You can read books, you can listen to podcasts, you can find articles, you can hire a coach, someone that's going to help challenge you and push you and shape your thought. The people I wanted to spend time with that thought bigger, that had things that engaged and captivated me, that forced me to challenge myself with my body and with my mind and with my ability to express emotion, they may not have lived right next door to me and I may not have been able to get access to them in person on a day-to-day -day basis, but I had tons of access to them online through podcasts, through different media. I could, and since then, I've hired many of them as coaches to be able to challenge myself and to grow. So you can make your own network. If you're not challenging yourself in your sport, in your ability to grow as an individual physically, find a coach, find a friend that's doing this stuff too. You have social media, you have the internet to be able to reach out to people and make your own network. Set that up and make a network of people that will push you and force you to grow, and you will be amazed. It's so much more effective than anything else you could do. Pushing yourself in a community with other people, right? So the end lesson of this, accept challenge, in your mind, body, your spirit, push yourself to be better every single day, every week, every month, every year, and you will be successful beyond anything you could have ever imagined.